Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make this really cool autism awareness necklace. To start off, we're just gonna be using this mold with a little puzzle piece, and I will make sure to link in the description down below where you can find these. Here I have picked out four colors that I'm going to be using. I have noticed that there's a variety of different colors used at different times, so you really can get creative with what colors you pick. Here I have teeny portion jars, and I'm just gonna be pouring in a little bit of each of these glitters into each of the matching jars. Those look pretty good. Next, we're just gonna take our mold, and this mold has a bunch of different things on it, but we're just gonna be using this one up here at the top that looks like a little puzzle piece. Here I have some UV resin that cures under a black light. I'm just gonna begin by pouring the UV resin into one of our glitter jars and giving it a mix with a toothpick. Once our resin mixture is nice and mixed together, we're just gonna pour it in. And once everything looks nice and level, we hit it with our black light. When I use a lot of glitter, I like to flip the mold over so that we can make sure both sides get hit really well with the black light. And then after about a minute to a minute and a half, this should be ready to pop out. I love how you can see all the sparkling hearts. Now we're just gonna repeat the process with our other three colors. Next, we're gonna take a pretty thick chain that's long enough to be a necklace, and on the end, we are going to attach a jump ring to one side and then a jump ring and a lobster clasp to the other. This will allow us to close our necklace, but if you want it to be a little bit more adjustable, you can make the chain a little bit longer on one end by adding more jump rings. Next, we're going to attach our charms to our chain using jump rings. You don't necessarily have to use two jump rings for this, but I like how it gives a lot of extra strength to the necklace. And you're gonna wanna use pretty thick jump rings because our resin charms are pretty thick at this point. So we have our first charm on, and I'm going to go ahead and skip about six of these before I put on my next charm. And I'm gonna make sure that I put it on the same side of the chain, that way when there's weight going down, the chain is all going in the correct direction. We have our second charm on, and I'm sure you guys can see that it is on the correct side of the chain. All right, now we just need to go in with our last charm. Looks like we've completed everything, and now I'm gonna put this on a necklace stand so we can see the final look. Here we have our final look. I think everything is absolutely amazing and so incredibly sparkly. Thank you guys for joining us. If you like this tutorial, please hit like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.